take is typically speaking, you read a self-help book and they're just try they're just describing other people. They might as well tell you, hey, you know what you should try being taller. You know, people who are taller have more success in life. So if you could emulate the people that are taller, you ever read a book where like about social anxiety and they're like, try and interject humor into a conversation because that works. That works being a person who didn't know how to interact with people and then reading in a book, oh, try and be funny. You might as well tell me, hey, have you tried looking like Brad Pitt? Have you tried being especially handsome? A woman won't sleep with you. Have you tried being taller and looking like Brad Pitt? Because if you did that, you might find that more women want. Thank you, self-help book. And then, all right, so anyways, I, I, I got the audio book on uh, emotional intelligence. And I'll, I'll listen to one page at a time because it's just like these affirmations where it's like, how much can you absorb at any given time? It's like, yeah, they're all good ideas on gratitude or whatever else, but it's like, you're going to listen to it for the amount of time that you're going to listen to it. And, and then, and that, it, I don't know, you listen to a page and you're like, all right, I guess that was a good idea for something I'll never do. But for the moment, I'll try and take a moment, absorb this information, and then probably not implement it. Anyways. Listen, you guys can come hang out with me on the porch. I'm actually a calm, nice, normal person. I'm not always this yelly. But you, you get me alone in a car, and it's a little bit like when I'm podcasting. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a rageful individual when I have a pec tear, a knee that doesn't work, and a bicep that doesn't work. And I'm listening to this uh, emotional intelligence book. And it's got and, and, and they, they came at me with this deep idea, which is you don't have to wait for other people to ask for to apologize to you to forgive them and i take a moment in the car and i'm like you know what that's actually a good idea that makes sense you hold on to gripes and grudges it's just poison within your own body and i really i'm taking a moment i'm sitting there and i'm thinking about this idea and you're like what are the gripes and grudges i'm holding on to and who can i forgive and what other gratitude can i implement in my life and while i'm having this conversation in my head there's an old man on a scooter in the middle of the road and there's a bike lane right there. And the guy just decides that because he has nothing left in his life, other he probably had a DUI, he probably lost his, I don't know what happened in this guy's life, but he's got a bald head and long hair coming down the sides, which are, just give up. I, as a man who struggles with follicle problems myself, just shave it off and move on. You don't have to show off the little bit of hair. No one cares about side hair. Side hair is garbage hair. People care about middle hair. I don't know why it works that way. I don't know why middle hair is the more impressive hair that the people who can still grow hair will purposely get rid of the side hair just to embarrass our bald people and tell them, oh, I don't even care about this hair. That's the world that we live in. Nobody cares about side hair. If you can grow out side hair down to your feet Nobody cares. Nobody's impressed with it. Side hair is cheap. It's readily available in the market. The baldest of individuals can grow side hair. Nobody cares about side hair. They care about middle hair. If you want to show off middle hair, people are impressed by middle hair. If you can still grow out just even that top piece and then take all of that and just keep going and going and going and then slicking it back, slicking it back, and then just shaving off the sides and showing off your middle hair, people are very impressed. Side hair, nobody cares about side hair. But this guy... He's out on his scooter. He's taken up the middle lane for no reason. There's a bike lane right there. You could be on the side of the road just with his long, disgusting hair floating in the wind, the side hair that nobody cares about. And I'm sitting in my car and the ADD I had of going, I have to be more gratitude to full scale yelling, what the fuck are you doing in the middle of the fucking road? Just total rage, like for like two minutes. I was like, what is wrong with you, buddy? You were just in the middle of this thought about gratitude. And that's why don't bother with audiobooks. You're not going to absorb any of the information. And even if you, if you, you, you gotta, you gotta read things. I don't know why reading it takes that little bit more of mental investment. Well, or, or at least maybe you won't be out on the side of the road where you try and have the one second to absorb it that just instantly turns into a full skill rage yelling where you're like, my entire life is the fault of this old guy who's trying to enjoy his last moments on earth scootering in the middle of the road.